Hey there guys, check it out. I'm uh, doing the update here to Tractor 2.10.1. You see the folder there. Um, if we take a look at this folder, and by the way, this is inside your document folder. There's a native instruments folder inside there. You've got the Tractor folders. I'll take a look at two point, my last update here. And if you look at all the stuff here, and you look at the, um, the transients, you got 242 meg. Um, in the stripes, you got like, it's big, straighten this over a little bit here and make this a little bigger, 1.47 gig, 81, you know what I mean? Like, look at that, another, the cover art. And that's like the backup. So, you know, that all adds up. So, the interesting part is, most guys don't realize, you probably never even looked in here. So, you probably have a tracker 2 point blah, 2 point this, 2 point that. You could have any number of them because what happens, when I open up here, and look, there's nothing, right? The reason there's nothing because I'm at this point right here where it says, do you want to import your collection preference and preferences from a previous installation? They recommend it. Click no start from an empty collection. Well, who would ever want to actually do that, right? You really want to start from an empty collection because like shit, it takes you a long time to analyze this stuff. But here's the real big dilemma. As you know, I've been having issues with the uh, sorting of my BPMs and all kinds of stuff. Some people think I'm nuts because they're not having any issues at all. But if you take a look in the forums, you're going to see real quickly that there's a lot of people having this issue. So, if you're doing the update and you're having issues, <clears throat> maybe you want to take the chance and say, um, no. And start with a brand new empty collection and re-import and reanalyze all your stuff. But, I have way too much shit in my computer and I got to do some mixes. So, I'm going to say... Yes, import it. Default path. Yep. And there's going to just copy everything over. So, what you're going to notice though is now if we look in our documents folder, let's go to our native instruments. And now, all of a sudden, things are being built. Cover art's being added. You know, everything's get moved over. The real problem at the end of all of that is you're going to have that duplicated over here. And then this one, as you add things to it, is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then the next update, the next folder will be bigger and bigger and bigger. And you're going to be run, run out of space very quickly. So what you're going to want to do is, well, basically... Just delete the old one. That's pretty simple. Throw it in your trash can. And don't forget, because I know there's a lot of Apple users out there that really don't know Apple that well. They just have a MacBook Pro because, you know, it's the best thing to have for DJ. When you trash that thing, you got to go up to your finder and you got to empty the trash. You can't just throw it in there because you can recover it. Therefore, it's still taking up space even if you don't see it there. So, yeah, anyways, we're getting right down to the countdown here. As you know, I'm going to be doing 420 reviews and messages and things like that for people and talking about all this stuff. And um, I'm going to have to kill a couple more seconds here. And that thing's still going. So, anyways, we're coming up here. Have yourself a happy 420, guys. Talk to you real soon. Bye.